So over the past day or so, over the past few hours, I should say, we got a lot of information when it comes to NBA 2K25. And one of the most controversial topics is the one we're going to be speaking about in this video, the tripling. Will what 2K have here hold up versus the 2K community is the questions. And in my opinion, the only ones who could determine this is not 2K, but us. If you all want to have a serious conversation, let me know. <laughs> you know, I'm not really loud in this video because it's later. So I ain't going to lie to you. I want the white to come and, you know, you know um, abuse within homes. For mar marriage couples is serious, man. I ain't gonna lie, domestic abuse is serious. And usually, the big six foot six guy is the victim in this equation. But we're not gonna get into that right now. Help! But we're not gonna get into that right now. <laughs> but um, I think we got way more influence than we realize. So we got a lot of info for y'all because Mike Wayne did go into great detail of what's to come in NBA 2K25 dribbling system. So without further ado, I need y'all to grab yourself that brew and let's get to the video. You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right place. Want a community that's cool? You in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi Leonard. So you done now. Your boy Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked and mean with a neck video for y'all, man. So we're gonna get straight to the news. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm making a push for that 200. My bad, that 300k. It's on the way. I really be messing that up, man. Appreciate y'all for letting your boy hit that 200k. Y'all know the grind will stop. And one thing I would always be with y'all is honest. 2K been trying been trying to make a versatile game but because of us we tend to play very similar because what we do every single year is find a very small amount of move that's effective and we stick to it and then we come about and come back around and say yo the game everybody plays the same but who is that on if you're serious y'all can have that conversation but Let's go and see what 2K have in store for us when it comes to driven because Mike Wayne been putting out a lot of information and I have to try to make it more simpler and palatable for y'all. So we're going to just focus on dribbling in this video. So we're going to go through the score type report then we're going to go and see what Mike Wayne broke down because it seems like Mike Wayne don't like to sleep once he come out. Bro. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Your boy got to be honest. So. The Corsair Report says, the Dribble Engine is the most amazing upgrade we've had to our gameplay engine in 15 years. That might be an exaggeration, but let's continue on. So NBA 2K25 features an all new Dribble Engine built from the ground up. It's very, uh, when they say the ground up, I'm always very cautious because they say from the ground up, damn near every single year. Then you go and play the game and see a lot of features from the last game. So be careful with your claims 2k come on and say that i gotta call y'all out i gotta be honest i can't help it but let's continue on they said this is the biggest change to our gameplay engine in many years and we're eager for you to test it yourself in every previous version of nba 2k dribble movement was managed by manually programmed pre-scripted animations transitions from a library of motion capture movement so what they're basically saying canned animation so once you start something you got to continue out before any change can be made now this is a big claim that 2k is about to make right now so what they're about to say is no more canned animation so let's continue on so now with the power of pro play nba 2k25 dribble engine generates dynamic motion from real world nba footage to create a new and more authentic feel it goes beyond animation 
it turns movement with the ball into a holistic dynamic piece of motion one to one with how players dribble in real life stops are tighter launches are more explosive and probing the court looks and feels smoother more lifelike and more consistent than ever before we can't wait for you to experience this firsthand now again these are huge claims will they back it up or will it affect how we play we could have the conversation and we will in a little while because mike wayne did break down a few things in his q and a's and on, on his twitter as well one of the questions that somebody asked is basically the course i talk about 9,000 animation can you break it down so he said we've added over 9,000 new pro play animations to mb 2 k25 bringing a total to 14,600 from the main gameplay category there are 1500 dribble sequences 1100 shots 1300 motion sequences 800 rebounds 1000 passes Oof. 2k thank you i hope i have some control over these passes by the way 434 dunks 550 blocks and 1110 layups that are new to NBA 2K25. And there are plenty more in other miscellaneous areas. Now, he also said this, there are lots of new dribble styles from 25 last year to 37 in NBA 2K25. More importantly, each dribble style is filled with authentic pro play data. The last year dribble style might have four or five unique animations per style, while 2K25 dribble style have around 20 to 40 unique pro play sequences from that player. The new engine is driven by at least six times the amount of motion data as previous 2Ks. It's crazy. Now somebody asked him, did dribble moves get any improvement to make them feel more fluid? We need a freestyle dribble stick so we can chain together our own moves. All the dribble animations fell too clunky last year, closer to better though. So he responded, there are two things the dribble heads are going to need to lab on. Many of the moves or combos that you pulled off last year, like the sham guard, are no longer done by branching from a right stick move to left stick movement. All of those advanced combos have moved to the right stick along with some new stuff. The second, dribble movement is very different. Launches, turns, stops, etc. And dribble styles can have a big effect on that field too. So you guys will need to experiment because strats and techniques from past two Ks may not work this year and you'll discover new ways to be effective. At the end of the day, in my opinion, we could have this conversation, we could all be honest. How effective dribbling is, is based on us, not them. They could put out a billion animations, but every year we do the same thing. And you know what game made me realize this is was NBA 2K20. Let's go back. Let's go back. Remember NBA 2K20 launch, right? And it had one of the cheesiest behind the back spam combos in the game. We y'all think the Jamal Murray was bad? NBA 2K20 has something similar but way more cheesy to the point that eventually they patched it out of the game. Now, when they patched it out of the game, it caused outrage throughout the 2K community. Everybody was saying it's the only move we have. We can't get open no other way. Now that lasts for about one week. Then we figured out the between the leg cheese now. After they passed that combo out of the game, we figured out something else that was just or even more effective. And that's when the light bulb clicked and it's like, what happened is every year, somebody lab and figure out a cheese then they go ahead and post a video or put it on social media. Somebody fight and start to spread like wildfire. And what that then do 
it suffocates the 2K community in terms of its dribble creativity. We fall into that last year with the Jamal Murray and L2 cancel. That changed everything and suffocated the 2K community. And until I saw Steezo the God come out with his montage, I was like, yo, you can do these things in the game too? How is this possible? All I thought you could do was Jamal Murray and L2 cancel. Huh. But that was so revealing. Trust me with this one, man. The only thing that's keeping us away from being creative with the dribbling is not 2K. It's the 2K community. Having thousands of moves don't make no difference if we only use 10. <laughs> it doesn't. If everybody got the same moves equipped, it doesn't because somebody early in the cycle determined these are the most effective, most explosive combinations we could find. That does not necessarily mean it's true. That does mean that person found at the time the most explosive combination at the time. Trust me on that one. So we could have a serious conversation, but all these things they're saying don't make no difference unless we're willing to spend a lot of time labbing throughout the year. Let me know your thoughts, man. So that's all I got for y'all with the dribbling updates, man. It sounds good. It sounds good. But at the end of the day, when it comes to dribbling in the 2K community, we have more power over this than the 2K developers. They could give us the tools, y'all. But if we don't decide to use the tools and decide to work with our hands, <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. The job gonna get done. Will it get done in the most efficient, best way? That's the next conversation we could have as well. So anyways, man, y'all know what it is. Your boy Sim. I'm gonna keep dropping updates based on different categories. Of course, I'm probably gonna attack shooting next. Let me know what y'all think about the video. Let me know what y'all think about my thoughts. And let me know if y'all think your boy just on that BS and just talking trash. That don't make no sense. But let's be honest, man. We've been seeing the same copy and paste play style for the past few years. And I don't think that's where we had to be playing. But anyways, man, sorry for the long rant. Y'all know what is your boy saying. First time to the channel, like, share, subscribe. How best one until next time. Be safe out there, y'all. Peace. We got some more updates coming too, y'all. Peace. Thank you.